Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. This week we are in deepest, darkest Wales. And we normally do the intro inside. And I'm a bit concerned because we're doing it out here and there's houses nearby. You can hear dogs barking. But I just wanted to show you the outside of this place. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's massive from here. Yeah, let's go and have a look before we get caught. Right, look at this place. How amazing is this? And it's just left. Look at the, where we are. Just in the Welsh mountains, in the middle of nowhere. Amazing, manic, isn't it? It's huge and amazing. We just need to get in. Look at the stone it's made out of as well. A massive stone, not a small piece, it's like this. Yeah. Anyway, let's get in before we get caught. It's a, an adventure just to get in this place. We don't normally show us getting in, but you can't really see where we are anyway. But look at it down here. It's scary, I can't even see where I'm putting my feet. Oh, straight in, look. What, are you getting attacked by already, a bat? bat. What is it with us and bats recently? Been fire? Oh yeah, I oh, know, that's water. Not water. That's water damage, not fire damage. I know it looks like it, but it goes black, doesn't it, around outside. Now I've got to be really careful around here because of that bat. Look at that, Andy. What's this here? <laughs> you know, this, look. Why is this like, I can't really show you, look. It sort of goes in, yeah. And the, there's a massive hinge there, look. And a massive one there, and the big frame, but then there's like, it's almost to lock it shut somehow or something, isn't it? Strange, that. I think I do that. Don't yeah. know why they've done it. I don't. Oh, oh that's you. I'm guessing that's your way upstairs. Let's have a quick look right and round down here. See if there's anything. I do like cellars, but you don't always find stuff in them. What's this? What is that? Like a display unit, cabinet or yeah. something? Mm -hmm. It's a number 11 on it. Number 11? What do you mean number 11? Number 11. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's like it's been up for auction at some point. That's an auction sticker, that is. Yeah. Is this what I think it is? Santa suit. You what? You wanted to try it on? No, I don't want to try it on. <laughs> that bat, I keep seeing it. Look, it's just out there. Bombing about outside that door. There's loads of them. There's all here. There's got to be about four flying up and down there. Right. What's... This is weird. Don't you feel like this has been bricked up afterwards? Yeah. And there's... Oh, in fact, the walls used to come across though. There, look. So why would it be segregated? Oh, wait, just to here though. Oh, were it toilets, maybe? It's just been like a wine cellar. Oh, yeah, with like the slab that, that's what that ridge is there, look. The slab. A slab that went across the middle. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Keep perfect going. sense now, doesn't it? It does. Because when you actually think about stuff before you say, oh. Well, to be fair, though, I like working it out with the people that are watching it because at the end of the day, they'll be going, I wonder what that is. But if I have my thought processes <laughs> out loud, and then we work it out together. Tables. Yeah. Right, let's go up those. Oh, in fact, let's carry on that way. <laughs> Getting attacked. You don't thought, want, thought about it. Don't want to disturb them. No. Ah, look. They've obviously got to nail I'll have a look at I'm saying, though, they've obviously been doing some work, though, at some point. And what's happening here? That's just screening, that. It's not fresh, fresh, because look at it up there, it's filthy, but why? Oh, see what you mean about the door now? Look at them. Yeah, they are. They're beefy doors, those things. Look how thick that is. Wow. 
Right. Well, it's all been, that's obviously been like a coal hole or something at some point, they bricked it up. So they, it looks like they've been trying to do something at some point, but I think it's been a while ago. They started doing it up and then they stopped. Oh, in the early 2000s? Early 2000, 2001 yeah. or something. Actually, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. Right. We're attempting to go up the stairs without getting bat attacked. Well, we're not going to... thing is, some people have said in the past, oh, we shouldn't be annoying them. But we don't, do we? Try to avoid them. Yeah, we try our hardest to keep away from them. So, another one of those big doors there. And a nice old toaster. Oh, it's all a bit bizarre up here. Oh yeah, you can tell they've been do trying to do it up. Yeah. This is weird. Have you seen this, Andy? That's a safe door. Yeah. I think it is, look. It looks like it, like. Yeah. Is, it, is that safe, safe behind the there? Yeah. Where does that go to? No it does. Another set of stairs here. In fact, oh my god. Look at it round here. Oh, falling over. Look at these stairs. We'll come back to them in a minute, but. Yeah, do this Yeah. That's a, a hefty old safe there. And I think this was. Do you reckon this was built in then? Yeah. At some like point. It. And all the noise I made, it's just some broken tiles. Don't worry, I'm not breaking anything on purpose. Right. Andy's just said there's nothing in here. But the first thing I saw is all this carved wood. Look at this. Do you reckon these are off? What do you think they're off? The stairs? The stairs. So. And then, but that's like the top off something, isn't it? Are they? I thought they were drawers. I don't. I can't work out what anything's from. Oh, this is oh, really. Like rail, this is really awkward around here, Andy. Without breaking anything. Oh look, spindles. Are they like off four poster beds? Wow. These wind. Have you seen the old windows that are on the floor as well? I, them, I know. That's what I'm trying not. I'm trying my hardest not to do. What is this? I don't get what the, this metal work is. Right, we wind. It's like a fire door or something. Like a yeah, but it's like a window. But this. You know, like to sit in front of a fire or something. Oh, fire screen. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I meant. Something like that. Yeah, so okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think some of this stuff's been auctioned and then never picked up. Mm. But it's just a bit of tight squeeze and there's all bolts and all sorts, which I'm guessing that were going to be all new door fittings and one thing and another. Yeah, that door and another. There's just so much stuff in here, Andy. What is that big gold thing behind there? An old fireplace. It's huge. This is weird that there is so much stuff just shoved in these rooms. It's like, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I wonder if it has been stripped out to be sold on. Yeah. And they were just going to redo it. But then for some reason they've sold it, but nobody's taken it. Strange. Makes no sense. Because that, that's got a well, that's got a number on it, but I don't think that's a sale number. No. Because it's screwed on. Oh, there's bits and pops of things all over. I wonder if that's auction house. Yeah, Robert Mills. Oh, what's that bit? So um Marble. Marble all leaned up together. Are they pigs? No. <laughs> Are these of your dick? <laughs> it looks like little pigs. I actually thought that they were uh, haggis first, not pigs. Uh, I can't look at it because it might give something away. Or does it not? I told you, they were salvage yard. Ah, this, this place is just absolutely right. You can hardly move. 
Oh, it's a piano that someone's been taught on as well, look. Yeah, it's got, it's all got all the things written on it. Notes on it. Yeah. My P my PE teacher, my um music teacher used to hit me. What if you got it wrong? Yeah, with a stick. You said, but you got hit quite a lot. I did. I'm terrible at stuff like that. My dad always wanted me to be a musician and I just couldn't do it. Yeah, back here again. But I wanna oh, have you seen the pictures? Yeah. I know that's the thing. We don't want to damage anything. Look at these. I love this. I love that they've actually gone to the effort of framing and presuming local pictures. Yeah. That wherever that is, established 1695. Can't be right, can it? Chilvern Cottage Cheese. That don't even look like UK, I don't think. It sort of does, but don't have a look. It's got trams. Yeah. Could be UK. Is that one of us moving or someone else in here? Um, but that, I suppose it's not going to be anywhere else that says established 1695, is it? No. There's some more up there with a the horse and trap. I keep ducking from behind bloody bats. <laughs> Are they shed, in here as well? Yeah, shed loads of them. I ain't noticed them in here. There's one through down, there's one upstairs. Yeah, look at this as well. Victor in fact, I don't know if it is Victorian. It might be. She looks Victorian. Yeah. But the bowl hat guy, I thought maybe a bit later. I don't know. But look at the big fireplace down there as well. Big stone. Everything's stone, isn't it? There's no brick up here like yeah. there was in the cellar. You can't get to anything. It's just, look how much room I've, I've got stood here. I've got a lot of room. A lot of parky flooring as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a shame it's getting damaged as well, look. Yeah. Hey, up though, has it not got flooring under the flooring? Without damaging it? Yeah, it has. It has, yeah. Looks like they put parky flooring on top of parky flooring. Yeah. Look at all the stuff there. What is that from? Oh, that gold one. I'm coming, two seconds. I just want to have a quick look up here. Yeah, the old lamps and things. It's, it's really hard to show you everything. It's really hard to see everything. There's just too much stuff. That's the back of it though, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, like it's like, um, yeah. A lot of them were though, weren't they? That's, uh, this is this is marble though. It's been painted over at some point. Oh yeah, the baths. They're modern though, aren't they? Yeah. I like these big fireplaces, me. I know they're bare, but it's just how big they are and that they're in stone. I just think they're really cool. They'd rip the original fireplace out, won't they? Well, they'll be in here somewhere, up for sale, won't they? Or gone. Yeah, or gone. Yeah, I wonder if all the good stuff's been taken. Yeah. And they've left stuff like modern baths and... All these shit cabinets. Yeah, exactly. And things like this that are, like, fake, that aren't real. Toilets, which is a funny shaped toilet. Oh, yeah. Quite good, that one. I like it. That's strange, isn't it? Is that a B day as well? Yeah. That is strange. Like that. Do we know much about? I don't think we know much about this place. I don't think we even know the name no. of this place. Even when you look on Google Maps, it don't come up a name. No, it's just a house in the middle of nowhere. The onions. It's like it, isn't it? Yeah. Why yeah. is there just? Oh yeah, bag there. Sack like of onions. That's odd. Yeah, I just love, it's a, it almost looks like slate, but it's not. It's like that grey, that deep grey colour, isn't it, of yeah. slate. They've um, poured it all out. I know. Well, they're obviously going to turn it into something. Look how high the ceilings are as well, though. They would have been amazing grand rooms, these. Good, it's such a shame. I know, like I said, we love that they restore these places and look after them. But when it's just been part restored and then left like this. Oh my god, is it a mobility scooter? Hey, it's been upwired that one look. Which one have they got it here? Oh, there will have been a door somewhere. 
Oh, we're not. Don't forget they get the keys. Oh, we're on level, aren't we? Yeah, it's bottom floor, this. Yeah. Didn't we come up well, we, well, we have, we've come bit. from cellar, yeah. Not woodwork either. Yeah, I'm just saying there's like rooms of just wood where it looks like they were going to do it and it's just been left to slowly rot away. I know how much, well, I suppose you would need a hell of a lot of wood to, to panel this place out, wouldn't you? But there's just loads of it. What are they? What would you use that for? And need that many of? Mirrors. Would it Maybe. Could be. I'm loving, I'm loving these stairs. I can't wait to get and have a look at them properly. Imagine sleeping on that. It's vile. Vile. Why did you sound German when you said it? Zeke vile. Wait up. We didn't come up, did we yeah, come up there? We're in, we're in this way. Oh, right, yeah. We're around one big circle. Right, let's get up to the stairs. Yeah, just, I don't know why, because it's not, like, really spectacular, but the stairs themselves all the way up are because of the shape of it round there. I don't, I mean, like, these bits aren't... <sighs> Damaged them, or they get damaged. I know they're all broken at the bottom, but I don't think that's someone. Oh, I don't know. I think someone might have cut across that log. Yeah. For some reason. I don't know. You don't know how long it had been left abandoned before people had started doing it up again, though, do you? No. But I do love it. Look at the shape of the stairs round there, though. Look at that. Love it. And then that big grand archway there, that's original. And that was that's the that front door be, down yeah, there, look. Great entrance, isn't it? It'd be amazing if all this stuff were cleared out. It'd yeah, be absolutely that? fantastic. How are we looking at that? Is it a like a shredder? Not like for wood. I don't know. Yeah. It says this cabinet something is protected by patent. For all inquiries, contact your local distributor. Central oh, Amusements Limited. Well, like an arcade game. It looks like it. But what would be, so I don't we'll know. Back back. We'll have to have a look at them when we go back down, but. But it would be in a bar. Oh, maybe. But it's hard, the thing is, there's so much stuff. You miss stuff, don't you? You can't see it. You can't, can't see stuff for stuff. Yeah, that's it. Another big archway up here. I thought you were going through that step then. I just need everyone to appreciate Andy today. Andy is like action man. Look at him. Now you're definitely going to get all the middle-aged ladies after you now. Look, look at that. Come and get it, baby. Come and get it. <laughs> oh my Got lord. Eagle eyes. <laughs> past finger, past tongue. That's disgusting. You can't say that. Look at this. I don't know which way to go. Look at this. Bath. I don't know if I want to call it a bath. Built for four. One of these cars. What's happened to my voice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying how manly you are in your in your army get up and now suddenly you've I'm lost it. Ditch people. <laughs> <laughs> What's this lot in here, look? Oh, they, <laughs> that's tickled you, that, hasn't it? It has, yeah. <laughs> tickled myself. The only that's business. why your voice went high, isn't it? You've been tickling yourself in a corner. But yeah, all the old furniture. Like I said, it's definitely been on auction at some point. And they've left loads of it. But you know, if you leave, you buy something and you don't take it all with you, yeah. you get fined. Yeah. Yeah, so... You might as well come and get it. Been a lot of bloody fines. Yeah, you make good... Wood for fire, I suppose, if nothing else, but shame. it is a shame. Although I haven't seen, like, look at this. That's not, like, amazing. It's, like, inlaid, but it's not expensive, expensive, is it? Still marble. Yeah. And there'd been a nice sink in there somewhere. There would have been, but what what I mean is it's not a nice sink in there somewhere. Well it's, it's the sink there. the sink would have been there, no, yeah. Not just somewhere, like lay the next to it on the floor. It's been there. What a stupid thing to say that. But you know what I mean though? It's yeah. not like top end, top end stuff, is it? No. Like, but this could have been like 
I think it's possibly before 70s, 80s, but not much before. I don't I don't love it, is what I'm saying. Yeah. No. In fact, look, 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 look. Alright, so you look at this, you see all the, the inlay and what looks like walnut, because that looks like walnut on the side, because it's all like mottled. But then if you look here. MDF. It's MDF. So it's actually really, really new, isn't it? No, don't even fancy it. Never mind, love it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Tonga French dresser? Tonga French woman. <laughs> well, French kiss on a French woman's blurt. Blurt? On that old minge box. What's a blurt? I've never heard that in my life, and you've never said that before. I used to say it a lot when I was at school, but did I? I were immature. I haven't changed much, have I? Oh, strange man. Out of these well, new the original. original they look sort of older, don't they? But I don't know if they are original or not. Hey, what's they, what are these? With numbers down the side. Drawers. Draw fronts. No. If they are bloody big drawers. They're not drawers. What are they? There's a reason they've got numbers like that and they're quite old. Because they're like metal. But I don't know what... Yeah, look at these. These look like massive drawers. Yeah, they do. Or... Or what? They were stood up. They, they were the backs, so they, they could be like... Um, oh, cabinets. Cabinets, yeah. But why Shelves. would they have the numbers on? Shelves. Yeah, but why would they have the numbers on? I don't know. What, and they're the... They're like display cabinets, Possibly. and they're the front bits of them. Yeah. They're the main body of them, yeah. and they're the drawers. Yeah. But I still don't understand why there's numbers on them. I don't either. Unless it was like a museum, and it was showing off certain things. I just don't know. Don't get it. No. What else we got around here? No. Oh, this room's all off here. I didn't expect it to go off to sides here like this. Look at Look how dark it's gone now. We've, we've been here. How is it? Yeah, bath. We've been here no more than about 15, 20 minutes. No, I'd say less than that. And it's dark outside already. One long chair in here. You can feel it though. You can feel how lovely this room would have been once. Low, overlooking, I wish I could show you outside properly. If I get rid of my torch and do, oh, there's a, I'll try and show you and there's a bloody tree. Look out of this one. Oh, oh, that's better. I can actually stick you out the window. But look, the views across the mountains and it's just fields and nothing else. Imagine this on a boiling hot summer's day. It'd be beautiful, even in the winter with all the, the snow on those mountains. Sat in these rooms, looking out. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Big roaring fire. What? What are you laughing at me for? Because I'm getting excited. Your narration is real. I know, because I live it. <laughs> Not wanking off. No, but don't, don't you live it in your head? You know, when you come to these sorts There's of places. There's living in my head. <laughs> Look at this little archway. That's a bit odd, but it feels like it's been added later, this. Yeah, on this bit. It's all a bit strange, but I suppose. What? Look at the size of that! I have never seen a slug that big. Put your hand next to that. Look at him! It's bigger than my hand. That is massive. That is huge. <laughs> I'm not eating it. That's more like a snake than a slug. <laughs> Look at that. What, what do slugs eat? No. Leaves. I'm not touching that one. That's, that's going to be poisonous, that. <laughs> it's not poisonous. It's not got fangs and it's going to bite that's you. That's got fangs. <laughs> Look at this. Look at it. He's huge. If you stand here long, it'll drag you into its lair. <laughs> it's like a turd. <laughs> Look at that next to me foot though, it's massive. You've got size 11 feet. I didn't know. Wow. Right, let's keep going. Right, up. Something just sat here, look. I know. Just come up onto the next floor and that's my first thought. I felt a bit uneasy. 
like somebody had been sat waiting. I don't know how old these would be either. I think these are quite new or... Ages. Where all, where's all the old stuff from this place gone? It's like it's all been taken out years ago. What are these on here, look? Oh, Chester Cathedral. It's all ruined. It's all auction stuff that's ruined. Yeah. Yeah, that's Chester Cathedral as well. It's Worcester. What, they've got a bit of an obsession with cathedrals. It's, how warm is it in here? Very. I'm absolutely sweating. Like, so, seats. seats. Seat seats. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they're like curved in the middle almost. Dog barking. Somewhere out there. It could be police dogs, you just never know. They, they seem to like the police dogs in Wales. It's quite close as well. Right, there's some more furniture in here. Now, some of this looks potentially a little bit older, but it's still not very, very old. That's weird. Why has that got like material behind the door and it opens at the front and the back? This is base, isn't it? Bottom. Oh, is it a TV cabinet on its side? Do you think? Something like that. Oh, it's because everything's like at odd angles and not where it's supposed to be. I would say, is this, does this do be like a hotel for like weddings and stuff? It's in a big enough room. Yeah, I know what you're saying about a hotel, like, could have been a hotel, but it, it sort of doesn't. There's no proper driveway up to it. No, it's only a little it's, sack, isn't it? Yeah, it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't, does it? And the thing is, as well, I think bef it, it's the furniture that's throwing me. I'm not going to lie, it's the furniture because the furniture's like tacky shit 80s, 70s stuff, isn't it? Mm. But the well, building it could have been abandoned or left since. The yeah. 80s. Well, yeah, I suppose it could. Somebody bought it in whenever. Well, they could have had it in the family the whole time and just had it yeah. fashionable. Because that's the thing, you sort of think of these places as having all the original stuff in it. But we're not the first generation that's ripped stuff out and turned it into something else, are we? So, it's changed, don't we? Yeah, exactly. So maybe this stuff's original to the last family that lived in here and then it's gone since the 80s with nobody living in here till the 2000s when somebody's gone you know what let's do it up it's sat and there for 20 years balls to it's too much work yeah i think they have there's a lot of work what's been done well that's the thing but if you look at this right so you you've put all these in you haven't fixed the fact that the floorboards are absolutely damp as old the walls probably needed something doing to them as well yeah because I don't know how dry, I'm not saying that, I don't no. think they're that wet, are they? they quite dry. I'm not saying that, that felt a bit, that felt a bit damp. So I don't know. But there's damps getting in from somewhere, but yeah. it could be right, would it be rising damp? I don't know. I don't, I don't know when it comes to like storm work, whether it affects it or not. I'm not sure. But what I'm saying is I think they've, they've started doing a job and then realised they've not quite done it as it was supposed to be done. And it's either rip everything out and start again. Because look, this is why they've put this in, so they can put... Bathroom. No, I won't oh. say that. I want to say insulation in there, look, yeah. behind this space. But I wonder if it didn't come to, like, regs. Because you've got to do it up to a certain level, aren't you? Certain things have got to be done in certain ways. Yeah. And I wonder if they've just done it and then thought, oh, shit, this is not quite like, right. Put a bit in there and put a bit in there. And yeah. On this side, but but were they going to cover over off. that fireplace? Look, yeah. I'd have left that out. I would. It's going to be a bedroom, which I think it would have been. Yeah. That would have been the bathroom. Would have been a nice feature in here, wouldn't yeah. it? There's loads of dogs now. Jesus. They're like screaming at us. Yeah. Now the one thing I am thinking about is. You've got the cellar up there. The cellar. Oh. <laughs> the cellar so on the roof. 
<laughs> the attic up there with massive brand new water tanks above our heads as well. Is there? Yeah. But I don't know how you get up there. I don't know if there's any access at all, if they've cut the access off. There's surely got to be a way to get up there. Now, when I was looking at this stone earlier on, I thought it looked like slate, and I think that is. And this here, look. Welsh slate is famous, isn't it? But I don't think it's all slate, because I don't think that is. Is it granite? It's a big lump of stone. Granite is stone. Every piece of stone's got a name. I don't mean like John and Frieda. I mean... Rolling. Oh, it took me a second then. Did it do it? It did. Talking about names of things, I found something out today that I found really interesting. So, <laughs> you know when you're driving up something, like... And it's got two lanes, and you're in your car. What's, a road. A road, yeah. What's the difference between a road and a street? Um, a street's got houses. A street has got houses, well done. What's the difference between a street and... Uh, name me another one that's not a street, I can't think now. Avenue. An avenue. What's the difference between a street and an avenue? Avenue, no, this avenue comes to a dead end, but they've not done No, that's no. a cul-de-sac, but I'll tell you about a cul-de-sac in oh, a bit. I'll go on then. No, um, an avenue has got trees on it on either side. It doesn't matter if it's got buildings, it's got trees got as trees. well. Tree-lined. Yes, it is tree-lined. My street on. But, well, no, but it will have done originally when it first was built. Yeah, they chopped them down and burnt them. <laughs> Probably. But then... I don't mean just putting the house on fire, you've burnt them in Mibbit Street. <laughs> that's how rough it is where I live. <laughs> What about a lane? Hey? I don't mean the woman, I mean I'm a saying. lane. It's just a small, it's a one one sided thing. Well, like we've come down tonight. And a boulevard is double the width of a road. Has that got a little grass verge in the middle? A boulevard? Uh, possibly. Uh, but then, the one that made me smile was cul de sac. What does cul de sac mean? Don't know. Well, you know what a cul de sac is? I don't know what, what a sack is. Yeah, but what's a cul-de-sac? Oh, it's a dead-end little road. A dead-end little road, but what do you think it translates to? Small sack. <laughs> Almost. What's sack in French? Bag. Yeah, it means arse of the bag. What's That's not right. It is right. Honestly, look it up. Everybody, don't believe me, go on Google and search cul in French, d in French, and sack in French. It means oh, arse, of bag. arse of the bag, or arse of bag. <laughs> French are very funny people, aren't they? Funny? Oh, why would you call anything like arse, of, arse of bag? It doesn't make sense, does it, at all? No, it relates to what, what it is. <laughs> arse of bag. I live in the arse of bag. It made me chuckle, that. That's weird. I thought it would be refle like reflection of mining wind. It's really hard to show you, but obviously if we see your torch, you're able to see it. We can't show you a great deal at the moment. I thought it was like coming from behind that tree, or between them trees, before we were coming across the field. Yeah, see we can, without lighting you up with a torch, which we don't want to do, we can see outside, sort of, but you can't really, which is a shame, but... Is there's bats flying around in here as well. I definitely saw flashes, flashes of torches. That's why I turned the torch off. What's that? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. You see it lit up now? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a car. It's a car, but... That's not the road. That's that drive. Is it? Yeah. But if that's the second look, we've seen more than one light come from that side. So that if the police are coming or whatever, that's where they'd come from. 
just keep seeing a bat flap against the window. Yeah, there's loads of bats inside and loads outside. But yeah, off where that that's just gone, off to the left is the drive that runs right up to where we are. That's why you would have been going so slow. Yeah. We just need to stand and look out windows for five minutes, leave torches off and see what we can see. He's walking around the side of here now. Can you see him, lad? Can you see it from where you are? No, because I've got to be out of window. Just be careful in case he shines it upwards. Can you see him now? Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. of the building yeah they didn't seem a couple of times they looked up but didn't seem to see us so i'm hoping they don't know we're here but know, you can't it's down to exactly i think that they're looking through windows because there's some smashed windows and they think yeah. we've got in that way it's totally overgrown the the way into the cellar before we get bitten by bats. Not that you get bitten by bats. I know. But also before someone works out how to get down here. To sneak up the stairs with no torches on the leg it. Yeah. We'll sneak. We'll see what we can we can show you anyway. I wanna try and show you as much as I can but without getting caught. I can't actually remember the way to get out. I think it's through here but this is where there's loads of bats. I feel like they're all around this corner waiting to get us. Oh. oh, it's not this way. It's not this way. Oh, God. Oh, there's millions around there all over. Disturb him. I don't know if it is this way, you know. Oh no, this is a dead end as well. Back the other way. They just fly out from every angle. I think 
we're all right for bats in here. Well, it's not in here either, is it? Oh, it's down the corner. Oh, is it? Oh. Right, need to be careful with torches now if we're near this door. And be careful with talking as well. So we currently crouch down behind a wall. Oh God. There's like four by fours and cars whizzing around this place. There's loads of people in there. Too many for my liking. Yeah, I don't know if they're police. I don't know what they are. I don't think I've heard any like police noises. Like, no. you might hear that beep boop on yeah, the, but I, I ain't heard any of them. But I was reading today that Welsh are the highest population to have guns, <laughs> which is which what, is please? no oh, people like oh, farmers, <laughs> which is worrying really. really. Told me. I know. So, so I told me now. I said before we get in there. But the thing is, we're in the worst place ever because it see I think there must be like a dog kennels behind here as well. I don't know whether that's the ones we heard, but they seemed like they were all over earlier. Yeah. But we, now, we're like literally behind it, which makes me think they've took all the dogs out of the dog kennels to come and find us. I don't know, but we need to get back to the car. But I, I'm a bit unsure which way we're going from here. <laughs> which is, Dark. it is. I never pay attention to where we're going, I didn't today. No, I can't stand, I'm crouching, I'm so uncomfortable. If we stand up, they'll see us. Anyway, let's try and make a, make a move. I think we're all right. <laughs> You can hear the dogs from the kennels over there, but there's nobody around this bit, and I think we're almost back up main road, aren't we? So, yeah, I think so. but I'm sure I've just seen one of those four by four things on the road up here, you know, like over the top of that bit of rail. Yeah. If they are, we're gonna have to probably find a different way around to get back to the car. They probably sat waiting at the car for us, to be fair, because it's middle of nowhere car in the middle of it. Sticks out like a sore thumb. It does, don't it? I can't see any torches either now, which is worrying as well. Because if I can't see them, where are they? So you'd see them flashing in trees, can't you, and everything a minute ago. And now they've just disappeared. Lots of noise. I'm right on edge, me. Really on edge. Just thought I see you walking through trees up. up yeah. Or something. Like Thing is, they're gonna see this torch in a minute. Huh? Well, saying that, there's that many people with torches. We could be one of them. So, anyway. I'm doing it right as well now. <laughs> That's it. Right. So we've just come down the road to where the car's parked. It's a bit further around this corner in a, in a car park. Now. I remember what's down here from walking up. There's no pull-ins, because I was thinking, can I park here? There's just one little bit. It's not like a road, I mean. It's like a little like track, isn't it? Yeah. Now, why would anybody be parked there like that? I reckon that's coppers, or farmers, or something. I reckon we, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think we should walk down there, because they're obviously gonna see, gonna us. see us. So we're gonna have to skirt around it, up or down. Well, they, I don't know if you've seen this side, it's like a fucking cliff. So, I reckon we go the other way, up to the left here, and round the back of where our like car the, is. It's like a, oh, I can't really see, but it's a gapping wall just here. Right. Up over there and skirt the outside that wall. Yeah. Because it dropped down a bit, doesn't it? That's it. But the thing is, they know the only way to get back, because they'll know that's our car. Yeah. The only way to get back to that car is to walk down here. So that's my only thought that they've parked there. But I think we need to shift anyway because if they're there, there's no to say that someone else ain't gonna turn up in a minute. All right, let's get out of this bit then. Right. Oh God, I'm exhausted. Right, so I can't really show you. So we've got to be careful because that car that we've just seen okay, is literally the mask now. <laughs> It's literally just down here, isn't it? Yeah. So we don't want to see torches, but oh, we can't even see the top of the mountains over there. 
But yeah, we've got to go up here somehow and make our way back round where that car is to the other side to where my car is. So I reckon it's got to be that way, isn't it? Yeah. Oh God, I'm sweating just, to, in. just to get here. We're only halfway up the hill. It, is <laughs> it's thick, it's like really thick, dense trees and everything as well. So we've got to find a gap to get back down. This bit's all right, but when we get up there, it's going to be a nightmare. Exactly. Right, let's have a bomb up here. See what I mean? It sort of hooks off to the left here, and we want to be right. Oh, it's like a dead end, look. I think we just have to push through this lot. No, it just finishes. This is horrible. Because you can't see where you... I say you can't see where you're stepping. Look how thick it is through here. It's all brand new trees, look. They're like saplings. But it's getting ragged to death. You try and get through there first, I'll follow you. The new boots. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be doing the job, won't they? Oh, there's flies everywhere. I'm going to get your leg ripped to shreds. I am. Well, if I do, I do. It's rather that than getting caught. Right. I'm going to stop filming because I can't, I literally can't stand up and walk and film and everything. Um, exactly, look at state. Right, go on. <laughs> the things we do for this channel. I haven't said that for a while. Right, so we've made it back to the path next to the car park. It's literally just here, isn't it? Which means my car. It's just over the other side of there, back in here, banging and noises. Don't waste car doors a lot. It was an empty car park when we came there. I think we should sneak round with our torches on. Try and sneak into the car quickly. Yeah. And get away, because that, that other car is about maybe five, six hundred yards up that way. It's very quiet round here. Every noise they can hear. Right. Echoing in it. Let's, uh, let's make a dash for it, but turn torches off. Car come in. Go. You know what? I'm not sure if that were a copper. Going pretty quick for this. Back row, right? Yeah, exactly, right. Torch off, torch off. Let's walk down. Finally made it back to the car. The noises we heard is luckily somebody camping just down there in that van. <laughs> so we're alright. Anyway, we're going to have to go the opposite way so we're not seen by that car again. Right, well, that was, that was fun filled and Frolic, frolicking, what in the ferns? What has just happened, really? Though I, I expect we'd been told it was just we won't be disturbed. We we're going to get walk walk straight in and have no problems at all. And then all of a sudden we're being stalked by loads people. of people with torches and dogs barking, cars parking, <laughs> everything possible. Not one thing, right? We're straight walking. Well, it were a straight walking, but it were a quick run out afterwards as well. It were good, that it were good, it were good, and it weren't good. It were good as in the building were amazing. Yeah. But it, one, it's been ruined, and two, it's just full of stuff. Well, stuff that he's picking up. Yeah. So if you if you went to an auction to buy some stuff from that house, go and get your fecking stuff. Yeah. Dick. <laughs> But then bats, those bats, how many bats were in that place? It's not if we just two, end up with a swarm. It was ridiculous. Anyway, 
we're going to get off. It's very, very late. It's a yeah. Friday night as well. It's not like us to be out on a Friday night. No. It's it's not. Well, it's technically Saturday morning. It's three o'clock in the morning. No. And we're not home yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Never mind. We love you all. And we love our patrons. We had so much help from them recently. So thank you very much. You are all very lovely. And we bought another torch. We've got another... If I do that, you can't see me. But yeah, we've got another one of our torches as a backup. So thank you. You've really helped us out with that. And we will help you out in other ways. Yeah, by hand delivering merch if it's local. That, that's not... A that's not for the patrons. That's people that bought merch. Actually, our new T-shirt. Flying out. The, the literally. Yeah, pigeony bastards. <coughs> pigeony bastard T-shirts. If you haven't got one, get one because they're going so fast. So just thought I'd mention it. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm very very tired, and I'm going home before I fall asleep whilst driving. So I, I hope you don't do. I know. So bye then. Love you very much. Bye. See you next week.